Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top winter Middle Eastern fragrances. Happy first day of winter, you guys. It is finally here. This is my favorite season, you guys. I love being bundled up and having some type of warm, spicy, musky fragrance on. So what better way to start off the season than with the best Middle Eastern, long-lasting, heavy sillage Middle Eastern fragrances. So if you guys would like to see all the fragrances that I picked out for the winter season, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I talk about all things smell goods. It is so nice to meet you. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so the first fragrance that we're gonna talk about today is one by Fragrance Weld. And this is called Bear Cat Satin Oud. And that is what the bottle looks like. Looks very familiar to MFK's Oud Satin Mood because it is supposed to smell like that. And y'all, this fragrance, is such a beast mode fragrance that is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I expected when I got this fragrance. Based off of all the notes that were in here, I expected to like it, but I didn't expect to like it this much, nor did I expect this fragrance to smell so similar to that fragrance. Oh my goodness, you guys. So this is very unisex leaning. In this one, there happens to be two different types of rose. There's Turkish rose as well as Bulgarian rose, mm, you guys. And this fragrance, I don't know, it's just something about it. It's so intoxicating when you smell it. And it's a fragrance that I can wear, but I can also spritz this on my husband because it's not too feminine leaning and it's not too masculine leaning. And you guys, this is a really big bottle. This is a 100 milliliter, so it's not like a 30 mil or a 60 mil, so you get a lot of juice up in here. So you don't have to spray yourself with this sparingly. However, because this is so long lasting and the sillage is like a 10 out of 10, I wouldn't overdo it with this. I think you could spray yourself with this two times, maybe three and you're fine. But for me, I pretty much just spray myself one time, maybe two. And this fragrance literally sticks with me all day. You will smell it on your clothes all day. You will smell it on your skin all day. I mean, this is one of those fragrances that you want for the winter because it's gonna hold up. And the only way you're getting it off your skin at the end of the day is if you like scrub it like a lot with your loofah and your washcloth and all of that because she came for no games. I would consider this fragrance to be a spicy, oody, rosy type of scent. But along with the ouds and the roses in here, you also have some jasmine. And then in the base, you have some vanilla, which as it warms up on your skin, it starts to soften up a little bit. And it always maintains this like powderiness to it as well. Like in the opening, it's very rosy, oody, and powdery. And then there's that sexy amber in the base as well, you guys all around this is so pretty and i actually like this one better than the one that this one is supposed to be a dupe of i like that one as well but i like that one more so on my husband for me it leans a little too masculine whereas with this one although it smells very similar there's something in this dna that is a little bit more my style and is a little bit more feminine leaning and it really has been a nice surprise in my collection so once again this is barakat satin oud and i'm not sure if it's by fragrance wield or if it's by fragrance world either way i'll have it all linked down in the description box for you and the name of it is <laughs> barakat satin oud next up we have one by latafa and ooh, you guys this one is really nice and this is called Amir Al Oud. And this is what the bottle looks like. And y'all, y'all see how much juice is in this one? It's because this is a newer bottle that I was waiting to bust out for the cold season. And now that we are in it, it's super cold out, it's raining. I'm about to douse myself in this. It's smoky, but it's smooth, you know? It's not like overly smoky like um, By the Fireplace, by Replica love that but this one definitely does have like those woody notes and that same like woodiness aspect however in this one you have sweet woods instead of just woody notes along with some sugar in here you have some herbal notes in the base and then you also have that creamy sandalwood so they go into two different types of directions this one doesn't open as sharp as that one it definitely has more of like a feminine leaning type of vibe to it 
ooh, almost has like a like a syrupiness to it. It's not like sugary syrupy at all, but it just has something different than by the fireplace that I think more people would appreciate in this one versus that one. So if that one scared you off again, I think you should try this one because it's a different type of take on that type of scent profile, but just as beast mode and the longevity of this one is a crazy amount of hours y'all like you get about six to eight maybe even eight to ten hours out of this one i love me a good thick fragrance like that mostly in like the fall and the winter in the summer and the spring i don't really need anything that's super crazy beast mode but this is the time that i like to wear those type of fragrances so if you're looking for something that you can wear on date night that is good for like going to some type of maybe like outside event or you're going somewhere with your girls and you're going to be sitting outside and you want something that's going to last and have like a cozy but very like strong type of presence to it then i definitely think you should check out amir al oud because it is a beautiful long lasting winter scent next up we have another one by latafa and this is called amethyst and aren't the details on this one so pretty love the purple with the gold and y'all this oh is another deep decadent rich jammy rose and oud combination clearly y'all i love me some rose and every time i smell that type of combination especially in a middle eastern fragrance it is just so pronounced and it's just so upscale and gorgeous and this one is supposed to somewhat kind of be an interpretation of atomic rose by initial parfums which i absolutely love but i would say that this is kind of that but not entirely it has its own twist on it that is just as pretty and just as jammy this is one i would definitely wear on date night or if you're going to some type of upscale event maybe you still have christmas parties to go to or business parties to go to anything like that this one is definitely a showstopper and will have you standing out in anybody's crowd and it's another one that is just like it pulls you in so you have that turkish rose in this one you have that bulgarian rose but then you also also have some jasmine along with the oud and my favorite note in here has got to be that pink pepper anytime you put a pink pepper note in there along with some rose and some oud i just love that that's like most of my favorite combination type of perfumes that i could just have a whole collection of and be so happy with if you've ever smelled atomic rose by initio parfums nine times out of ten you're gonna like this one y'all if you love you a good jammy note that's a little flirty it's a little sexy definitely is gonna have people be like oh who is that then i think you should definitely check this one out it's one of my favorites from the latafa line don't know why i haven't talked about it before now but y'all it's so pretty so please check it out if you can once again this is amethyst from latafa next up we have another one from latafa and y'all had to have this one in here this next one is kind of one you can really wear all year round but to me i just love wearing it right now in the cold season and this is yara the original one you guys oh, this is just like a mm, it's a smooth creamy like if you were to take a bowl of some fruits like add some type of like condensed milk or like some type of like heavy whipping cream and you were to just like stir it all together it kind of smells like there's like a fruity milkshake that is so pretty and soft and feminine and very snuggly and it's a like it's a happy scent you know oh yeah it shines in the hot season but the way that it bounces on your skin when it's cold outside is just so pretty y'all it's so addictive and it's one of those scents that people want to know what you're wearing because it's not like an over complex type of fragrance but it is a very beautiful type of like captivating type of fragrance that's a little lactonic and sweet and it's perfect for right now, y'all. In this fragrance, you have a mix of a little bit of everything. You have some floral notes, you have some fruity notes. There's like heliotrope and tangerine. You also have like some gourmand fruits in here. Y'all, it's got a little bit of everything. And then that creaminess from the sandalwood is in the base. If you haven't checked this one out, this is like, I believe it's less than $30. It still should be available on Amazon. Wherever I can find the cheapest price, I'll link it below. But if you have been thinking about this fragrance, y'all just go ahead and get it because I really don't think you're going to be disappointed. And like I said, out of all the three, this is the one that I would suggest is perfect for right now and just all year round. So once again, this is Yara by Latafa. Next up, we have one by Ajal and this is called Aristocrat. And that is what that one looks like. And I love 
this purple bottle. It is so pretty. That is just like the prettiest type of purple. I think it's, I think it's called, is it the stone amethyst? I'm not sure, but let me not confuse you guys with the actual amethyst perfume. This is not that. This is called Aristocrat. But this one, you guys, oh, is another one you can wear all year round, but I just like wearing it right now. Mm, because of the saffron note in here. Oh my goodness, you guys. So if I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this, but this is a fragrance that my perfumer, he has been telling me about for years, you guys. And he's been giving me samples and samples of this and I never really paid any attention to it. And you guys, when I finally start wearing this one, like the samples that I had before I actually had this one, I was so shocked and I felt so molded because you guys, it smells like a dupe to Baccarat Rouge 540. And I think it might be one of the best ones that I've smelled. If you're into like a smooth, sweet, mm, woody type of scent profile, then I think you will love this. Or if you like the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA, y'all have got to check this one out. I believe this one was only like $25, maybe $30, you guys. But I, I kid you not, it smells just like that. And the longevity is absolutely amazing. It doesn't have any type of sharpness to it when you spray it. Y'all, it just smells so pretty. So in this one, you have some sugar, you have some oak moss, there's saffron in here. Mmm, you have some orange blossom and jasmine, y'all. I would mainly wear something like this, like all dolled up. Like when you're just stepping out, this is one of those fragrances. You can definitely wear it casually, but it just smells very luxe and very upscale. So I would feel a little out of place wearing this to just like, you know, go grab some coffee. But I mean, you can shut them down wherever you go if that's the mood that you're in, you know? Highly recommend this one. I rarely say that stuff is a 10 out of 10 unless I'm doing like a 10 out of 10 video, but this is definitely like a 20 out of 10, y'all, because it is just very impressive. So once again, this is Ajal's Aristocrat. Next up, I had to sneak this one in. I almost didn't put it in the video because I talk about it a lot, but y'all know I love this fragrance and I'm gonna be rocking it all cold season. And this is one by Swiss Arabian and this is Casablanca. And y'all, this is just, oh, oh my, you guys, this gets better and better as it sits and as it sits. It's like that real love that you have that just gets better and better with time instead of you like getting sick of it. It's just like you get more and more excited about loving that person that you're with. That is what this reminds me of. I know that is a weird description, but you guys, it's just that good. I love the grape note in here, you guys. Mm, along with that Peru Balsam in the background. It's so pretty. Of course, you have that caramel in here. And let's not forget about the apples. Ugh, one of my favorite apple scents. Not gonna spend much time on it because I talk about it all of the time. But if you have not checked this one out, I know that they just came out with a, um, a new Casablanca and I haven't smelled it. I'm a little curious about it, but honestly, when I find me a good thing, I don't need to go get the next good thing, especially if it's like a version of this. I'm stuck on this right now. And to me, this is more than enough and my cup is full with this. So I won't be getting that new one anytime soon. If you guys have tried it, put in the comments down below, let me know, like, do you think eventually I should try it or should I just stick with this one? I think I'm good here, but if you think I'm missing out, let me know. But once again, this is Swiss Arabian's Casablanca. And last but not least, y'all know I had to have this one in here. I think this is probably my favorite Middle Eastern affordable fragrance and just not even affordable, but just out of all of them, this is my favorite. And this is another one by Latafa, y'all. Latafa is killing it. And this is Comra, y'all. Oh, y'all, this is the sexiest fragrance on this list. The dates in here get me every time. Oh, it's sweet, it's woody, mm, it's boozy and spicy all at the same time. Uh, if you love you some angel share, but you want something that maybe isn't as, I don't know, because this is sweet. So I can't say not as sweet, because to me, I feel like this one is almost sweeter and a little bit more boozier. Mm. But what I cannot get enough of in this one is that added two rows mixed with the praline and the nutmeg and those dates in here, y'all, them dates. 
is where it is at. Of course, you have those warm and inviting creamier notes in here, which makes it perfect for the winter time. Like you have tonka bean in here, you have the cinnamon, you also have some vanilla. Mm, and I absolutely love it. This is one that I love wearing on date night, you guys. My husband really does like this one on me. And y'all, the other day I wore this and I was at my brother's house and he was walking me to my car. And as he was walking me to my car, he kept on like sniffing the air. And I think when we got outside, he thought something just smelled really good outside. So when we walked out, he said, mm, something smells really good. And it wasn't until I was sitting in my car and he was like leaning over the car and we were like talking and laughing that he realized that that was me smelling like that. And he was like, you smell good. Ugh. Mm, like, like it was like almost like a piece of pie or like some type of food. And I was like, oh, thank you. And like, y'all, he said it like two or three times while we were standing there. He kept saying it. And I told him what it was. It was so funny. And like my brother, he's really good at giving compliments. Like when I smell good or anything like that, my husband's good at it too. But my brother is like really, really good. He loves like clones and fragrances and smell goods like me. So he can appreciate when something smells really nice. And he's like really good at going out of his way of like acknowledging it. And I really do love that about him. But with this one, he he kept saying it multiple times. So I think that's really nice coming from a man. So if you're dating, I would highly suggest that you check this one out. Or if you just want to smell good for yourself, this one is an amazing fragrance, you guys. When it came out, it was so overhyped. But I promise you, it was hyped for a good reason. And I feel like it needs to get hyped up again in this winter season because this is when it is time to just let it shine, you know? It's sexy, it's boozy. I feel like you can also be slightly unisex leaning. Like I would like to smell this on my husband or, or on a guy or just on my husband because I don't care what nobody else is smelling like. <laughs> but the point that I'm trying to make though is that this one can really lean either way and it wouldn't be overly feminine or overly masculine either way you go so this one would be a really nice christmas gift as well so once again this is by latafa and this is kamra and that is it you guys those are all of the middle eastern winter fragrances that i highly suggest you guys be rocking this winter season of course comment down below let me know will you guys be rocking any of these what middle eastern fragrances are you guys going to be rocking this winter and also let me know if there's anything you guys suggest that i get my nose on if you guys did like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and if you're not subscribed subscribe and as usual take care of yourself god bless you all and i will see you on the next one bye